Welcome to Nursing School Explain in this video on how to prioritize NCLEX and exam questions when it comes to ABCs, airway, breathing, circulation. Now I know that in CPR class now, some of those A's and B's and C's have been turned around, but for exam purposes, always think about ABCs. So whenever there is something wrong with the A, we have to resolve that first. If the airway has been resolved or any problems, then we can move on to B. And if there's no A and B problem, we can worry about C. And this video in particular will focus on the terms that you're going to see on the exams that will give you a hint that there's something gone with the, going on with the airway, breathing or circulation. This particular video, we're going to focus on the airway. So airway is always our number one priority. So things that you will see that will hint that there is something going on with the patient's airway is strider, so constriction of the throat, airway soot, like from a burn, since nose hair also from a burn, we always have to worry about the swelling that might occur post burn. Any broken teeth that might become, have become dislodged in the patient's throat. Facial trauma, facial fractures, loose things in the patient's airway. Swollen tonsils or epiglottis, such as an epiglottitis in the pediatric population. Tracheal deviation. Now some argue that this might be a breathing problem, but I say it kind of fits into both the A and the B category. And then here, very important, altered level of consciousness. So any acute change there, because if the patient is altered and their brain is not telling them, giving them the impulses to breathe and to clear their airway, then that should always be a number one priority where most likely the patient will have to be intubated. So check out the other videos where I go into B and C, breathing and circulation, and some commonly used terms that you'll see on the exams so that you can recognize them and appropriately prioritize them. Thanks for watching.